Hello everybody, welcome back. Anna here. I'm back again to show a jewelry haul. This is jewelry from yesterday and today. If you see anything you're interested in purchasing in my haul, you may email me at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. I always put my email down in the description section underneath my video. I also put my sale schedule down there. The next time I'll come on live for a sale is Monday, October the 17th. I will be on at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And I'll put my preview video out for that auction late morning, early afternoon, the day of the sale. Okay, mostly, like I said, usually mostly I buy it now. Some things will be auctioned. All right, but if you see anything here you want to purchase beforehand, you may contact me. All right, now let me make this trade disappear and I'll be right back. So who would have known it that I'm a magician as well? <laughs> Little corny humor there. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show, this is a ring that I bought um, I bought online. It's uranium. It's not gonna glow as well because I'm in this bright light. I have a picture of it in my community section. It's pretty amazing. Um, it's signed with a star, a W and another star symbol. It's uranium, as I just said, and sterling silver. It's more star W star sterling. This I'm keeping. Let me see, I can probably show it better here. It glows. It glows a nice green. It's uranium. Okay, um, so there's that. I picked that up for myself. I have, um, I got this off Gina, and it doesn't quite fit my chopster finger. Um, it does, but it's like, just feels uncomfortable on there. It's a little tight for me. It's a six and a half. It's sterling and lovely Labradorite too tight on me unfortunately I mean I'd have to really ram it down on my finger and I'm not willing to do that I can't stand the feeling of tightness on my <clears throat> body or my finger it's a nice blue flash Labrador right though this is an Estee Lauder um white linen Estee Lauder, Lauder <laughs> uh solid perfume and the perfume is actually still in there look Little Estee Lauder fish. Looks gold plated to me. Cute. Perfume compact with all the perfume in it still. Just gonna show things are not gonna be in any certain order. Those are dyed seashells and it's a little like clamper bracelet. It's kind of cool. I thought. Neat. This is really lovely. This is a, I'm gonna look this up in my bead book. I mean, I know it's wedding cake beads. They look pretty vintage to me, the beads themselves. It's lovely. It has a barrel clasp. That's really lovely, don't you think? It's a little short. It has um, brass findings, the wedding cake beads with uh, this metal caps on each side, and I think that's either, that's probably glass, so I'll test it. This could use a washing. I may gently clean it. <clears throat> this is something I would just wipe down if it didn't break. I wouldn't want to submerge this even myself. I believe it's 16 inches though, but it's pretty beautiful. It's really nice. That was a good find today. Actually, that was yesterday's find. Lovely. I have this is um I'm going to bring the bigger bust over. This is pretty nice. I don't think this is an original clasp on this. I'm going to test the balls for gold filled. But look at the glass. Or good God, it's beautiful, isn't it? Looks like a late vitreo glass to me. I, I I'm not certain though, honestly. Look at it closer, but um, those are glass beads in between. Let me hang it up. It's really nice, I think. These, these are cut like that, like deliberately the way that one looks. These are cut that way, deliberately. It's not broken. They're deliberately oddly cut. You have a cube here. I think it's, I don't know. If it's, I think it's either a bead glass vitri or crystal. I mean, I'll figure it out. Nice though, isn't it? It's very lovely. I 
I think it's lovely, lovely, lovely. I love, I like the glass. This is a vintage glass. Um, I, I don't, look, you've got like, that is like a couple layers of yellows inside. It's all glass. This one looks molded. Let me like double it up and put it on a smaller one and show it to you. That doesn't have a clasp on it. <clears throat> Yellow, orange, and like a cream colored, kind of, again, Halloween-y. I think it's pretty nice. I like this one too. It says a modern clasp on it. This, um, this is really nice glass. Again, beautiful glass. Like bracelets that match this. That's a triple layer. You have rhinestones in these balls. And then very lovely. And it's deliberately cut like that. It's not broken. That's how they cut this. There's very pretty, I think. And there's two bracelets to go with this. Like. Really pretty. These are stretch. Stretch seems good on them. I have to undo the tag. They came together. So they are attached by a tag. I think they're very pretty, don't you? Look. Let me take my hand out of it. Glass is beautiful. So there's those two that go together. It's a little set. Pretty glass. <clears throat> I like these. These are like, um, they have plastic coating over them, but I believe it's sterling underneath there. It looks like, um, these look like crystal. I'd look at it closer to see, honestly. But look how pretty it is. It's sterling findings, and I believe that's sterling underneath the plastic. But the back pieces are sterling silver. Then there's this, and I think they look good together. That's how I bought them. Those are faux pearls, very pretty. It's delicate, I think it's a nice set. You can make it so this necklace is shorter and on the inside of there and wear them together. Um, this is a, and it's a plastic of some sort on the magnifying glass, but it actually works. I have a metal magnifying glass I carry with me. I use it instead of a loop when I'm out because I can keep it on my neck. Because if I have things holding them in my hands, if I set it down for a minute and I'm really into something, I may leave it. Good God, these got tangled. They weren't tangled when I laid them here. Um, I have a few necklaces that kind of got themselves tangled. <sighs> here it is. And it actually works. It's a plastic. A magnifying glass on a vintage chain with a spring ring clasp. Let me open it that way I can get it off. That's how I can untangle them all. Oh, really? This is a long, it's a spring ring gold tone chain and has the magnifying glass on the end that actually works pretty well, although it's plastic. Um, I contemplate keeping it as a backup. <laughs> I don't know if somebody wants it, they can purchase it. I don't. Need it. It's a nice big one though. Look, mine's this. So I think the plastic might work better. I have, um, this is pretty little pink and white plastic bangle. Acrylic is some kind of plastic. Those are fun the same day. I thought this was adorable. Little, looks gold plated and has black uh, painting over it and clear. Rhinestone's eye, eyes, it's an unnamed, unmarked uh, kitty cat brooch. These have something on them. I have to, I'll test them. I haven't tested them yet. Um, they have something marked on here. I got to test that part. Cubes of cats are cute. Cafeteria glass with cats on them, but I, it says something on here. So I'm going to test the metal content and try to look closer up. I thought they were adorable, but I can't make it out. These are sterling. 
I don't know if it's gemstone or crystals. I'll check, but it's sterling silver drop earrings. I left them on when I bought them on. Very pretty. They're really lovely, I think. These are nice Monet. These ones are Paris. I'd seen them as, um, they, they're crystals and gold plated. I've seen the clip ones. I found a pair online to look at them, to compare them against. But um, I have the other one too. It's probably tangled in this. I don't know how they got tangled up. I, I haven't looked at them. I thought I laid them down neatly. Okay, Um. here we go. Pretty crystals and gold plated side Monet earrings. I think they're lovely. I thought Santa Claus, JJ Santa Claus birch, Oscar De La Rente, If I'm pronouncing that right, these are more modern ones. They are called. I mean, this magnifying glass is working better than my old one. Um, these are called extraordinary. They're modern pink enamel they're signed down in here Oscar de la Rente. they're pretty There's two of them <clears throat> I thought this was amazing look at the plating in the back this is big and has some weight to it it's like in that piece is actually hooked on back there but it's a bigger it's a little enamel missing but I still thought it was fantastic enamel and rhinestone brooch a big one with some weight to it i didn't see a maker's mark i'm gonna look again i thought it was really nice i liked it kitty cat with green eyes and rhinestones in its tail just adorable look at the pretty color on her it's beautiful i don't see a maker's mark back there <clears throat> This is interesting. To me, it was anyways. You know, I showed the Napier bracelet that looks like this in my video. I did an Napier video on the history of Napier Jewelry Company, EA Bliss Company. You know, they were called that at one time. And Napier Bliss Company as well, but now they're the Napier Company. I have this bracelet. This is the necklace. It's a choker. And I have the matching earrings as well now. So I have a three-piece set. What do they call it? A demi pearl. I have almost full i think don't know if these are sterling i have to test them i thought the bracelet was very nice set look it's like an art deco uh, look type thing it's not art deco this is a modern one look it has the napier tag it's 2000 and it has a um lobster club clasp but they still had um jewelry that was uh you know nice jewelry even though it's not the older stuff <sighs> I have to test her. I really like this, actually. Look at her. Wicked Witch on her broom. That's a pin. Put it back in its little case that they had it in. It needs cleaned up a little. Look at it. A pair of rosary beads. Um, very nice Victoria glass. Look at them. I didn't test the content to see if it's sterling or not. I don't know if it is. They're pretty. This <clears throat> that stuff is really sticking here. I'm not happy about that. Um, I feel like I'm in a jewelry jar, and I'm not. This I hand picked all this out today. Not to say I don't like the jewelry jars. I do. There's no good ones around here. I have to get them online. These are faux coins. This is a long necklace. Um, it has a spring ring clasp. It's not real heavy, but it's not real light. It's very long, and as you can see, there are these lightweight like dimes on here they're not real i definitely know that they, they i don't know i'll look at them closer but i don't believe so it's a costume jewelry necklace um it's a nice necklace though still and it's got a little weight to it this one here is has like one cloisonne type bead i'm not going to call this um wedding cake beads copper findings and i don't know what the glass is i'll check it but that's a cloisonne bead on there type i don't really even think it's cloisonne but it's some kind of art bead <laughs> we'll call it that little necklace of brass findings up top 
these are stones on the end, but um, this is glass. I mean, that's the necklace itself are stones. This is a piece of glass. It's cool, isn't it? But I thought it was pretty, so I picked it up. Let me put this over here. Coin bracelet. I need to cut the string off of it. It has a coin, you know, a that's uh, French wa Republic of France, France France, I think. And this looks really cool. One second, let me tell you what it says. It says, oh, I don't know what it says. William something, I think. What? Sorry. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, not William Vian. You see. And then this one is this. Let me just show it. It's nice. It's got, it's, it's got some weight to it. I have to cut this string off of it. You have that with a lion on it, a lock, a faux pearl, and there you go. That's a griffin, I think, actually. All right, that bracelet's got a little weight to it. It feels good quality. This is, um, I don't know who the AASC or something like that on this. A witch on her broom in front of a moon. I thought it was cool. They've had some Halloween candy. Not candy, um, decorate. Jewelry. Oh, for the love of God, I'm tired. I am tired. Oh, um, can't deny it. <laughs> My brain's tired, should I say. This is nice. Masquerade mask. It's, I think it's a, it's a more modern brooch, but it's a masquerade mask. I'm sorry about the dropping. I will be more careful. This is, I believe, a vintage Avon hematite ring. Signed Avon. Um, <clears throat> This is a labradorite necklace here <clears throat> with baroque pearls. Some labradorites. Let's find the flash on it. It's different stone to stone when they're real. Um, I did see a flash in it. There you go. I see a flash in this one. I don't know if I'm flashing the other ones wrong. But labradorite and baroque pearls. And that's glass, I believe. I'll check it for smoky quartz. But I thought it was cool. We have the slab. Somebody probably handmade that. Um, I think this is a Monet butterfly or somebody. I can't read what it says. It's a butterfly. I picked it up because why not? There's the back. Stone and pearls. And I don't know if it's sterling content, but it's a little cross on it. I'll test the content. Is that serpentine, I think? This has an anchor for a maker's mark. Let me show this. It kind of looks like an anchor. I don't know who the maker is on it. But let me enlarge it and show it to you. <clears throat> In case somebody knows it. One more enlargement. You see that anchor? And then it's pretty. Actually, a pair of earrings or a pin that would match us, I think. It's like a crackly glass. Pretty flower on it with the rhinestones. And this is a pendant, I guess. I'm going to test it and see if it's sterling. <coughs> Feels like a quality piece. Some uh, Venetian art glass. Some glass here. And... Uh, Glass. It's all glass. I'll call these glass faceted beads. I thought it was nice. This is signed. Um, I can't remember who made this. I sold one not long ago, a different color. I think I sold a black one. It is um, Total Attraction. Or fatal attraction. <clears throat> it's fatal attraction. It's nice. It looks new. It's like a nice metallic purpley pink color. Lynx. <clears throat> this is an Avon faux pearl ring that opens. That's signed Avon. It's small, it's like a six or a five, I think, actually. It's cool though, I thought. I didn't know who it was when I grabbed it. 1928 umbrella. 
I, it's a nice one, actually. Nice brooch. And it's 1928. I have this. I thought it was going to be older. Look, that's it. It's That's glass. This opens, and I think it's gold-plated. I have to check it out. It's a necklace, and I'll check it out closer before I go to sell it. A necklace and a pair of earrings. <clears throat> But that's glass, and you close it, and it's in this case. I will look it up better and if I sew it, when I sew it. I, I'll give details on it. I won't just sew it if I, if I try to know as much as I can about it. At least if it's gold-plated or filled or whatever. I've got a naughty hair. God, I hate that. Um, I don't know how they even happened. They were sitting there since yesterday. This is Monet. I think I've... No, this is Sarah Coventry. This is very nice. Saint Sarah Cove. It's a vintage Sarah Cove. Very nice gold um, tone necklace. Look at it. Very long. It has a spring ring clasp. As you can see here. It's a nice one. It's a nice Saracoff. I have a Monet. I'm collecting Monet up again. I'm doing a Monet video. An updated one. Nice, I think. It's nice. This is the Monet. And I have to test this metal. Not the metal. I have to test it and see if it's glass or stone on here. I think this one had a Monet tag. Or am I making that up? It's not Monet. <laughs> Excuse me. I just showed a um, silver tone one the other day. Getting them mixed up. This is unmarked, actually. Let me grab it. You can look at the stuff back there while I'm doing this. <clears throat> I have a couple other things. I've got their tangled. I'll untangle them. I'm not doing it now. I don't want to break anything. That is Mother of Pearl on some acrylic beads. Okay. With a spring ring clasp. It does not have a maker's mark. I thought I liked that piece and these i believe may be amethyst i don't know though they're glass but it's on a vintage chain as you can see i'm sorry about this looks kind of like worm and gold i have to untangle them i don't want to take the time now this is not an untangling video this is um turquoise this is like a 1970s vintage turquoise little pin as you can see look it has that back there it has one of the leaves on it <clears throat> it is turquoise and sterling silver. I thought it was cute. These are Joan Rivers. Um, Gold-plated lever backs with enamel and a crystal in the center. They're Joan Rivers. These ones are AB clips. Here's the back. Vintage AB clips. They're fully pronged. What else do I have? Little Angel. Not much more. I don't know who this maker is. It has um, no maker's mark. They look gold-plated. Okay. And back here, it has a crystal um, up top. Like, up top there is a crystal as part of the maker mark. I've sold earrings like this before. I don't know who they are still. This isn't something I would hold on to the research forever or anything like that. <clears throat> I believe they're more modern. They're gold-plated. And uh, they're still they're nice. I don't know who made them, though, but I thought they were pretty. These are actually Liz Claiborne. I thought they were going to be sterling and stones, but they're plastic of some sort. I got tricked. So nice, and I got to test these. I don't know, and look for a maker's mark. Silver and gold plate, uh, silver and gold tone pair of steering. So that's what I have for today. If you saw anything you wanted, please email me. Vintage Jewelry Galore at Yahoo.com. We can discuss price, and I hope to see you on um, Monday. I will be on in the evening at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much for your time. Have a lovely evening and a very lovely Sunday.